Hello, it's Sunday morning, August the 23rd, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church. And I'm glad to be able to spend a few moments with you talking about an important spiritual principle this morning. I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about the subject of patience. The Bible says patience is very important and mentions it many different times in the Bible. A very well-known verse on waiting on the Lord is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, which says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And one can't help but think and wonder, how does that work? How does waiting on the Lord cause us to be stronger? Well, the reality is we can wear ourselves out with stress and worry and fretting over things that haven't happened yet that we believe need to happen. And we become stronger and especially stronger in faith when we just relax and sit back and wait on the Lord. That doesn't mean inactivity or laziness. It does mean we are willing to commit something to the Lord and not insist that it has to be done right now. I'm thinking of another portion of scripture in James chapter 1 where the Bible says, Brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations knowing that the trial of your faith worketh patience. And Romans 5 also speaks of tribulation working patience. And patience is a great quality that God desires that his people would develop because when we can sit by patiently and just wait for God to accomplish his purposes, it is a strong statement that we are trusting in him. Our eyes are on the Lord. We're not considering this situation to be up to us. And so we do what we can do and we do what we ought to do. But if we have to force an issue to come about, well, then it's far better just to wait on the Lord, just wait for God to direct and to open up the situation. You know, I spoke recently about stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. And that patience discussion comes prominently into that principle as well. Don't worry, don't fret, don't get all wrought up over what you can't change right now and what you feel like has to be done right now or else. And we'll often take matters into our own hands when we start feeling that way. And it's not necessary and that's not actually an act of faith when we step up and we say, I've got to do something about this. And what we don't want to say is, because it doesn't look like God's going to do it. <laughs> and and no a self-respecting child of God would would stoop to that and would say, yeah, I, I'm just accusing God in this situation. And I don't really believe that he's going to take care of this. And so I need to do it myself far better just to wait upon the Lord and to renew your strength and mount up with wings as eagles. He refreshes you. He strengthens you because you are looking to the Lord to bring the answers that you feel you need right now. But we're patient and we're willing to wait. And God can do it far better than we can do it ourselves. How blessed it is when God's people learn that great lesson. Just learn patience learn to wait on the Lord and entrust your circumstance to him. He knows it far better than you or I do. And believe it or not, he actually cares more about the situation than we do as well. Wait on the Lord. Patiently trust him to bring an answer and to solve the problem that, we, that you and I are powerless to solve ourselves. God bless you today.